Welcome to the Ruling Rumble, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ruling Quiz featuring some of the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! players on the planet. I'm your host Naya, aka Shadow Rabbit. So here's how it works. Each episode, two pro players will compete one-on-one -on -one in a single elimination ruling quiz to become the Season 1 Ruling Rumble champion. Now go pick up a piece of paper and a pen and play along. And don't forget to comment your score or any thoughts about the quiz to enter the weekly giveaway and win awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! themed prizes. Let's begin. All right, so today I am joined by Puck, YouTuber, streamer, pro player, and also the reigning, defending, undisputed Croatian national champion, Luka Forian. <laughs> so welcome both of you. I'm super hyped to have you here. <laughs> thanks for having me on. Of course. Yeah, thanks for having us. So we already talked about it a tiny bit before, but how are you guys feeling with your ruling knowledge? Do you think you can become the ruling Rumble champion? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm not feeling too confident, but yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So we'll see. Maybe after the first question, you feel more confident and we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so starting with the first question. Puck has a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon on the field. Luca uses Book of Eclipse to flip it face down. When it's flipped face up again, will Puck be able to activate the effect to destroy Luca's monsters? Yes or no? And explain your answer. And I'm going to start timing 30 seconds now. Okay. <laughs> so we're starting with something that I feel is fairly easy. Yeah. Uh, you have five, four, three, two, one. All right. Yep. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, you I can, you can, you can show the answers. Oh wait, they were supposed to show, right? Yeah, you, you show the answers. No. And Pog said what? <laughs> I said yes. Oh, you said yes. Wait, there's oh, no, no way. <laughs> okay, so yes, I'm gonna need you. Sure. I'm gonna need you guys' explanation on this. Uh, I say yes because I think it doesn't forget what materials were used to make it. Mm -hmm. It, I think it forgets like other stuff. I don't know. Okay. I, I could be wrong. I, I just went with my gut. I just forgot. Yeah, okay, so I thought it, like, forgets, like, way more basic stuff. So it wouldn't make sense for it to remember this, but I could be wrong. Okay, so Luca is correct in this, actually. It oh, nice. forgets the information of the materials that were used for it, so it cannot destroy. Mm, okay, makes Alrighty. sense. Alrighty, so Luca gets the first point. However, mm. we are not done with the Dragoon questions, so maybe this changes in the next one. <laughs> All right, so follow-up right. question. Puck still has a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon on the field, and Book of Eclipse was previously used on it. And now Luca negates its effects, and Dragoon is therefore able to be targeted. We don't want to do illegal stuff, so Dragoon can be targeted. And now Puck attempts to use Defusion on it. What happens? 30 seconds. Okay. Mm. Wait, but how was it summoned? How was it summoned? I don't know, regularly. Like with Polly or what? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Anaconda, Sendrada's fusion? I don't know. So, like something, the materials are there, basically. Like everything is legal. Oh, the red... The red GF. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna give you another 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, this one's hard. I gotta think of this. So basically, the materials are there, um, you know, and it can be targeted. But does it go through? Is it legal? Is it illegal to use diffusion? It basically forgets the information about the materials used for its summon, is what we have established so far. <laughs> So uh, I'll, okay. I'll say wait. this. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need you to guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to guess. Yeah. Okay, go. You can like show the so show your pads on three, okay, two, so it's, one. It says no summon, so nothing gets summoned. No summon. Yeah. And you said no, no as well. well. All right. So fun fact: the diffusion actually works <laughs> because what? it yes because it forgets the information like regarding the materials but it doesn't forget what the materials were 
And the difference is that the game remembers the specific materials, but Dragoon forgets for the purpose of its effect. Wait, Dragoon forgets for the purpose of, of its effect? Of destroying, Sorry. yeah. So I can't destroy. Oh, right. okay, okay. Yeah, like Lucas said. Okay, that's, that's, but the that's game why remembers. I got... Yes, but the game remembers, indeed. Oh, that, I think that's why I got confused, because I remember reading that. That's why mm -hmm. I thought it wouldn't be able to pop. Because I. Of course, yeah. that's why I put it in to confuse you, and y'all are not getting <laughs> points. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm going to write down no points. Yep. We get, we're going to question three. Um, okay. Yep. So, Pak declares an attack with Baguska. On Luca's defense position, or Jamayello. Luca uses okay. Forbidden Droplet in damage step and sends a Jamayello to the graveyard for cost to negate Baguska and have its attack. Can Pac okay. special summon Zeus in main phase 2 using Baguska as its material? Yes or no, and explain your answers. All right, this one, this one I know. All right, it's dope. I'm going to start the, the 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Luca is sweating. We're no, at question 3. I'm, like, Zeus confuses me now because i was sure that it doesn't get replay but i'm not sure if it mm, yeah, that's the thing like i know it doesn't get replay because that uh -huh. happened to me oh okay five four three wait wait wait. Two. what's the question can, can you can you summon, <laughs> can you summon uh... Okay, I'm gonna be lenient. I will let you think for a tiny, tiny bit longer. If Puck allows it. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> Can I see his monster battle this turn? Mm hmm. But why did. If you don't get replay, it surely battled. Has it battled though, Luca? Okay, I'm ready. You're ready? All right. Yeah. You said no. Yes. Luca said yes. Yeah. Oh, think, okay, so I, I no. The answer is no. no, and Puck is correct. Yeah. And I'm going to need you to explain, Puck. Basically, uh, a monster is only considered battled if it reaches the end of the de like damage calculation has to be performed. Mm -hmm. So when you activate droplets at the start of the damage step, there is no replay, uh, but the monster is not considered battled because that's the, it's the start of the ba uh, damage step right mm -hmm. before damage calculation is performed. Right. Um, so you don't like it's not like it's just that's just how like it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I thought. But then I thought like you don't get to really clear because it got yeah. to the damage step. So I thought it's like kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As in like it battles, so that's why you can't do it. But apparently not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's like battle and like attacks. That's yeah. What yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's basically the difference. Yes. Alrighty. So you are tied at this point. One one. And we are moving to the next question. So, okay, so I like this one. So question number four. Pak special summoned Traptrix Holotea to his main monster zone as a normal monster during his turn. It's Luca's turn now, and he summons Sky Striker Ace Zeke and banishes the Holotea with Zeke's effect. What will happen to Holotea during Pak's end phase? 30 seconds. Oh, I think, I think this happened to me before. <clears throat> Traptrix life. So just does it come back or not, right? And what happens to it if it does or if it stays there? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Alrighty, you guys are ready? Yeah. Yep. No, you it said, doesn't come back. It doesn't come back. What did you say, Puck? Dude, I your your comes, piece of paper is so tiny. <laughs> I, said it, it, I said that it comes back, it returns it, it returns it to the field, but then it immediately gets sent, gets sent to the graveyard. All right. Game mechanic. And that is the completely correct answer, yes. Because wow. it cannot yeah. exist in it, the main monster zone. Puck played trap tricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfair yeah. advantage. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess we're gonna have to cut this question, right? No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Puck is in the lead right now, so two to one. And yeah, basically, right. it just um, it cannot even exist as a trap card because it comes back as a trap card. So yeah, the main monster zone is like no. Nope. So weird, actually. Yeah, it's very yeah, weird. It, yeah, it just brings us, it comes back and then it just immediately gets mm -hmm. sent to the grave. It's weird. This mm -hmm. is so crazy, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so question number five. Puck uses Dimension Shifter in his draw phase, and don't hate on him, please. <laughs> he uses Dimension Shifter, and Luca chains Artifact Lancia. What happens during this turn 
and the following one. 30 seconds. Wait, so is Chainlink 1 Shifter Chainlink 2 Lancia or Chainlink 1 Shifter Resolution Chainlink Ch Lancia? Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2. Oh, Chainlink 2. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Uh... <clears throat> okay. So the time is up. Do you have yeah. your answers? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, go. Cool. Uh, shifter doesn't apply on your. Oh, shifter doesn't okay, apply. Okay, so no turn. shifter this turn, shifter next turn. Yeah, exactly. That's what All right, about. great. And that's basically yeah. because like effects that prevent will always override the effects that like make cards do yep. something. Yep. All right, so you're both getting a point. Let me write this down. So right now we are three for Pac, two for Luca, and then we have question number six. It's Luca's turn, and Pac controls a Kashtira Fenrir and has activated its effect to banish Luca's card. A, a, a card face down during the turn already. And now yep. Luca takes control of Kashira Fenrir with Chippo Tactic Silent. Will he be able to activate both Fenrir's effects this turn, assuming the conditions for activations have been met? Yes or no, and why? <clears throat> okay. Luca, I have the answer already, right? You look confident. I think I have this one. Okay. Yeah, this is easy, I think. Yeah, this okay. Easy, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, you can just show both answers. Yes. Yes, yes. and yes. Okay, so explain to me the difference. Because it's once per player, not once per card. Because it says yep. mm -hmm. you can only use each of the following effects, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say, like, no. once per turn. Mm -hmm. And in that case, it couldn't it couldn't be because it like follows yeah. the card, I guess, the copy. Like Stapelia is like once per turn, you can blah blah blah, and then when you take it, you mm -hmm. can do it. Right. Okay, that's a really good example. Yeah. Okay. Then we have question number seven. Uh, Luca controls mm -hmm. two face-up monsters. Pock activates Vanquish Soul Dust Devil as Chain Link One, targeting Vanquish Soul Raisin he controls. Luca chains Book of Moon as Chain Link Two, also targeting the Raisin. How will the chain resolve? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a cool one. I've never yeah. seen this. Yeah, I really like this one. Wait, that's so cool, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited that you like the question. <laughs> so you have four, three. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to give you another 30 seconds. Because <laughs> you have to like, actually like, write an answer. Like, it's not like a yes or no. It's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a it's a longer one. Yes. Wait, this is so hard, though. Okay. I would just let you think. <laughs> I've, I guess I'll just throw my answer in. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Luca, you'll you just say it when you're good to go. Okay, I'm. Yeah? Done, Alrighty. Okay, show me the answers and explain, please. I, I said it goes uh, face up, then box. Yeah, I said it resolves normally, so like, mm -hmm. it's, you still change the battle position. And then, yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's correct. Great. Yeah. So I wanted it to be sort of like a trick question, but you know, I failed, I guess. <laughs> so you guys knew it. So you both have points again. So right now we are one, two, three, four, five for Pac and four for Luca. All right, so you are almost tied actually. And then we have question number eight. So it's Luca's end phase. And he has seven cards in hand and needs to discard to hand size limit. And he discards Danger Bigfoot. Will Bigfoot trigger from being discarded for hand size limit, assuming that there is a face-up card on the field that could be a valid target for Bigfoot's effect? Yes or no? Yep. I got it. I think mm -hmm. this one. But okay. it gets tricky. I already know the tricky question you're going to ask. Mm. I already know. You know it? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, yeah <laughs> it probably has to do with like... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah. so... Okay, show this. Sh show us the answers. <laughs> yes. 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 Great. Okay. 
So of course we have a follow-up question because you guys no. are playing <laughs> a danger mirror match. So see. now it is Puck's turn and he also plays dangers and he also has seven cards in hand. For, like for some reason, you guys just didn't activate dangers during your turn, so you just kept them in hand. So for hand size limit, Puck discards danger Mothman and with Mothman's effect, draws a card, you're, you're nodding your head. Did you know I was gonna ask this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And with yeah. Mothman's effect, he draws a card and discards BA tier. Will Tsir trigger to special summon a Cherubini from the graveyard? Yes or no? And explain your answer. Okay. I'm going to count this one for 30 seconds. You can take your time. Oh, I'm done. Uh, yeah. yeah. Too, yeah. Okay, you are too? Okay, great. No. So what happens? No. No. Okay, why is that? Uh, you only get one end phase trigger. Yeah, I don't know why, but that's just how it is. That's yeah. just how it works. It's like it came much. up a lot in like tier formats, like tier shoes yeah. formats. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a good example, actually. Oh my yeah, god. It, it came up for me because I, uh, I was playing Burning Abyss like a, in 2019. Like a <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have question number 10 right now. Okay, this one has A, B, C answers. So I'm gonna just need you to write down A, B, or C, and I'll read yeah. everything. Yeah. So Puck controls five monsters, in the main monster zones. And one of them is the number F0 Utopic Draco Future. Luca Normal summons Rubina and activates Rubina's effect. Puck attempts to use F0 to negate the activation of Rubina's effect and gain control of it. What happens? A, F0 successfully negates Rubina and attempts to take control and Rubina gets destroyed by game mechanics as there's no space for it on Puck's side of the field. B, F0 successfully negates Rubina, attempts to take control of it, but Rubina remains on Luca's side of the field as there's no space for it. And C, the activation of F0 was illegal. 30 seconds. So, well, okay, uh, what, was, what was A and B? Sorry. C so, was like, explained. either you negate Rubina successfully and it gets basically, like, attempts to get to your field, gets destroyed, or it remains on his field and still gets negated, or the activation was illegal completely because you can't control it. A is, A is dies, two is just yeah. negates, three is you can't activate Yeah, it. basically. Oh, and I have no idea what the answer is. Yes! Oh my god. I started feeling kind of lame, you know? You guys are kind of killing no, me this, with this, these answers. This, this, this one I actually know. <laughs> yeah? I, I didn't play yeah. this format. I didn't play it during, like, COVID. Oh, so yeah. I just you haven't, like, play. seen this card. <laughs> yeah, during Dude, COVID. This, it was everywhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, take your time, read in, it. It's all in good. The, in the, in the Lyrilis deck. The Lyrilis deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, F0 was an okay, annoying card. Okay, do you have your answers? Yeah. Alrighty, Let, let's see them. A. 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 Okay, why yeah. is that? It just it negates and attempts to resolve as much as possible, but because you can't have the monster inside the field, it just dies. It's like it's like with if you like Widow Egg or something under like goes and match. I don't know if that's a good example. I, I thought like in theory, like you, you're, you're allowed to activate it because you could like not have five monsters on resolution. Right. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you still like are forced to take because like Widow Anchor under like Gozen or something. Yeah. 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 Like I wonder if like if you take your Or like monster, talents under like a yeah, library like, or like, something. Like, like Beast sounded super weird because I've never heard about like those things happen like that you like just don't take it. Like I, th I feel like it always attempts to take no matter mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, it, a, that's a good yeah. example, actually. Yeah, and of course, the, the, the answer is correct. So hopefully, I get you guys on this next one because it is attack modifiers. So we'll see how oh, good you are with that. That one. that one I'm bad with. That one I'm bad with. I don't think I chose a very hard question, so we will see. But basically, um, okay. Pac has heroic champion Excalibur face up on the field. <laughs> for some reason. He activates its effect to double its original attack until Luca's next end phase, making it 4,000. Still oh, during Pac's turn, Luca uses Shrink on it. Now, the first part of the question. At what value is Excalibur's attack now, and why? So after Shrink was used. And you can take your time and read all the, all the cards. Carefully. <laughs> And of course, I'm gonna need you to explain it as well. I'm so bad with the tag mod. It's not even close. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad with this. 
I had to do it. You oh guys were wait, I just me read Shrink ones. actually. <laughs> yeah, it's cause, yeah, Shrink's is original attack. That's I'm completely yeah. clueless now actually. Yeah, because there's like something specific <laughs> about this card. It's kind of confusing, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I think I know. Okay, great. I'm not even timing this. You can take your time for this one. I'm nice. It's not ABC. <laughs> <laughs> this one, not yet. The other one is ABC. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue, but like, this sounds the best. Okay, yeah, just write down the value and then you're gonna hold up the paper. You ready, Buck? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, dope. Uh, so, let's see it. So it is at 30. <laughs> 30? What? <laughs> Oh, uh, then you meant three thousand. Yeah, three k. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my, my, I think one thousand. Yes. So, and um, I'm gonna need you guys to explain, and then I'll let you know if you guys are correct or incorrect. So, it's because it's because of the the word becomes. So, so when you go Excalibur, it becomes four thousand, mm -hmm. and then you pass your opponent, and they shrink you. Shrink says target one monster on the field. Its original cat becomes half until the end of the turn. So the original attack of this monster is still two thousand. That didn't change. So. Mm -hmm. You go half of two thousand would be one thousand, and then that will become the new attack. It, it just completely ignores the fact that it's at four. It just checks the original and then cuts it by half. Okay, and what was your one. explanation, Luca? For okay, 3, so what I thought was it's two k, but it gets double to four k. Uh -huh. But shrink only affects original attack, so I thought the boost still stays, except the original attack is changed from two k to one k, so just three k. Oh, and then you add like together. So okay, so yeah, I get what you thought, but yes, Puck is correct. So. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So this is it's, um, it's because it's because it become it, like there's there's something no, but the original uh, the original attack becomes so it's like does it even make no. sense for it to yeah, be one k? Yeah, it end? is like become actually has like a yeah a, something to do with it actually. Yeah. It, it's it says this card's attack, not this card's original attack. It's yeah, different no, no, it says when... original attack. Oh, no, it says no, this on... card's attack becomes double the original double. one. Yeah. So the new attack Wait, but, is no, but not the, the original one anymore. No, no, but it says its original attack becomes. Yeah, 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 the original attack is 2 But it doesn't say it on the XYZ. The XYZ just that, makes that, its new attack yeah. that. It's because it, if I think it's actually different if it says this card's original you know, attack, attack becomes, becomes it would be it would be different. Yeah, it yeah. says attack becomes, it doesn't say original attack becomes. Yes. That's okay. why that's why it goes yeah, to one thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, but so no, dumb. it doesn't like that's what confused me. Because if, if it said like if it was like <laughs> gigantic because Gig mm -hmm. Gigantic has original attack, right? Right. Yeah. Then I would understand, I think. But this doesn't say original, so I got confused. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's why, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, naturally, yeah. I have a follow-up question, so you're not done yet. Oh, no. Uh, so so follow-up question. Hate... We established that now it's at 1k, but Shrink has to wear off at one point in time. So at <laughs> what value will Excalibur's attack be once Shrink wears off? A, 1,000, B, 2,000, and C, 4,000. Wait, so you go Excalibur, you it's go to the four, you shrink it goes to one, and then now you're at you're at the end phase? Yes, and shrink is going to wear off. So what will Excalibur's attack be now? But Excalibur's thing has not weared off yet, right? Yeah, it's for two turns. Yeah, oh. at the at the end phase when it when it Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> what the Because Excalibur um... actually takes two turns and Shrink only takes one. Alright, I'll so I just like love no the confusion. Luca right? is like, like why did you invite guess. me? Like, just f <laughs> uh, I think, I think, um, I've done like ruling stuff. I've done ruling quizzes on this stuff before. I just don't remember. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of those things you just kind of have to know. Oh, they're confusing. I have to reread those types of oh, things. Yeah, can you repeat like, uh, yeah, of course. So ABC. A is 1000, B is 2000, and C is 4000. Oh, God. I mean, <laughs> guessing. You're just guessing at this yeah. point, like, right? It's either 2 or 4k, but like... Mm hmm Okay, Buck, you ready with the answer? Yep. Alright, great. Let's let's see it. 2,000. And you said... I said 4. And you said oh, 4,000. Okay, oh, so no. <laughs> what's the I mean, reasoning? I have no idea. Like, I mean, you guessed, no Luca, but like... But, <laughs> like the, I'm gonna the, need to like, hear Because like, reasoning. some of these just don't make like sense. It's just... Uh -huh. It's like that because it's like that. Yeah. So like it's had a tour for 4K and like I think you could like ma give an explanation for both. Yeah, you so can like, make arguments. For I have no them. idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I just guess 2K because 
there's something with attack modifiers i remember where like if you set an attack to something and it goes back it always goes back to what it originally was at end phase like okay. I, it's like the same thing with like i'm trying to think i, I don't know like uh there is i don't the know i just i just think that it always reverse it reverse back to its original at mm -hmm. end phase on lingering yeah. auto modifiers or something like that. Also, okay. I knew Pack would answer 2k, but I need to win, so I need to answer differently. Oh. So I like, had to risk it a bit. Yeah. Oh my god, I love this! You're strategic! Amazing. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, I it's probably 2k. It, it is 2k, I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically what Pack said, so setting the original attack will like remove the lingering effects that were on it before. So a really yeah. good example is like Apolusa getting, um, like negating and then getting boosted by Hitlia, and once Hitlia wears off, Apolusa is going to be at the original attack that it set once it was Link summoned, which is like a yeah. really fun fun fact. Yeah, it goes back to thirty two or uh, however, yeah, yeah. Much Th yeah. Usually it's gonna be like thirty two or something. Okay, yeah. so I'm giving Puck another point. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we can just stop counting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I love this next one. So oh, it is so Puck's main face. And he activates Pot of Duality. So I, I, yeah. I just assume that both of you are playing Flunder at this point. So, <laughs> so he activates Pot of Duality. And Luca chains Call of the Haunted because he decided to take an old deck to this event. So he chains Call of the Haunted and he targets a Thunder King Ryo in his graveyard as Chainlink 2. And when the chain resolves, Thunder King Ryo is special summoned to the field. What happens when resolving Chainlink 1? And we have A, B, C, and D answers. So I'm going to read them. Very slowly for both of you. I, I can do it yeah. again later. So, A, nothing happens since neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand except by drawing them. The answer B would be Pot of Duality resolves successfully and the chosen card is added to Pock's hand since Pot of Duality was chain link one. Mm -hmm. C is three cards are still revealed, the chosen card gets sent to the grave and the other two are shuffled back into the deck. And D is three cards are still revealed but all of them are shuffled back into the deck. I I I'm stuck between two of them. Like, I thought I would have a bigger advantage if it didn't, like, list the things. Mm -hmm. But I think Puck should know it as well. <laughs> so, what did a... you- what was your initial thought if I didn't list all the options? No, yeah. You, like, you wanna go just, first? I can tell you mine too. C yeah. confused me. <laughs> That's it. Like, C made me think of it. So, like, I answered uh, D. But, you like, C D? confused me a bit. <laughs> okay. But I'm pretty sure it's- I I hate okay. you. I, you're gonna hate me by C. <laughs> what? There's <laughs> no way. Oh, okay, yeah. so yes. In and, striker and, yeah. format, in striker right. format, you can like area zero under Colossus and just put them all back. So why is this different? Um. It, no. Yeah. You resolve as. Yeah. So why is this different? <laughs> I don't know, but no idea. I remember. I remember but, this. Rolling yeah. comes up where like you act because this comes up in 2011, and basically you excavate <laughs> the top three, and you have to resolve as much as possible. So you still have to. Pick one that you would like to add. Yes. Oh, is it, and, is, is it because it's chain? So you have to pick one still. Yes. Yes, you, you have, have to, to choose one. it. Yes, that's basically yes. what it is. Yeah. Uh, the excavate the excavate three is the first part of the clause of duality. Yeah. So you excavate three. Then you still have to add. You have to pick one that you would like to add. Yes. The card cannot yeah, be added. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's so stupid. Yeah. I'm just getting cooked. Dude, <laughs> you are getting. Okay, I'm, I'm not no, even. I, I'm not even bashing no, but I, you. I, <laughs> Someone asked me about this before. Like it was, I literally had this in another question before. I didn't so even why. think about like if it would be different just because it's chained to the, to the thing. I, th I thought it was just like a way yeah. for you yeah. to like ask us the question. Basically, I kind of thought that you were gonna take Colossus as a precedent because I know that you were playing a lot in that format, and I was like, oh. hopefully this doesn't confuse you. Um, yeah. Okay, so do you want to know the point difference? No, or should we, we can like okay, like, we can do like next question. It's like five points or something. Yeah, sure. Ooh, okay, so we can make it interesting. All right, so let me just count the points and then we'll see if Puck is willing to put everything on the line. We have sure, one, two, I'm three, down. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points for Puck, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points for Luca. And we have, I think, three questions left. One, two, three. So there is no way for Luca to win unless um, you make a deal with Puck and we, we value sure, the next ne couple next of ones at two points. Uh, sure. Yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah, I sure. love this. You're up for the, for the challenge. So there is still right. a chance. Question number 13. So Puck has skill drain face up on the field. And it's Luca's turn now. And he summons Vanquish Soul Pantera. 
and he activates Pantara's effect, revealing an earth and a fire attribute monster for cost to destroy all spells and traps in this card's column. But Pak Chase Book of Moon on Pantara, will Pantara be able to destroy Skill Drain? Yes or no? And explain your answer. Um. Okay. <sighs> I have I have an idea, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh. Do you have the answer, Luca? Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> I cannot believe that Jaya confused you with this. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Y you're done? Yes. Okay. Pak? You're good to yeah, go? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, yep. what is the answer? I wrote on yes. Yes. Okay, yep. I'm gonna need you guys' explanations as well. Uh, Pak is all for the activate, no? So... Like, it still knows... That it's that card. Yes, yeah. that's that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's basically yeah. the explanation because it's still that card. So now Pocket yeah. gets two points, and uh, actually, I am going to give Puck one point because I didn't like the explanation <laughs> that much. <laughs> We're giving sure. Luca a chance to win. So, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, question number fourteen: Puck controls a Cyber's Wicked and a Set Mathmex Super Factorio. When resolving the card, he summons one of the monsters in Cyber's Wicked zone. Will Cyber's Wicked be able to trigger its effect in the next chain because a monster was special summoned to its zone, even though that monster left the field in the last chain already and is lo no longer there? Or is that just not a thing? Yes or no? Wait, what left the field, sir? So like you no, go so Super Factorio, you summon all of them back, one of them gets summoned to the Wicked zone, and then oh, all of them get you, XC summoned. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then okay, there's okay. no no more monsters left in the zone. Does Cyber's Wicked trigger? <clears throat> and if so, why? Or maybe no it doesn't. Mathmatic players, man. Mathmatic players. Just like ah! just. Mathmatic, honestly. I tried to think of like examples for this, but like I can't think. It's of any. like it's basically um. It's like when you summon something and it would like trigger if you would like revive something that has an on summon effect, but it immediately gets like, you know, it's like BAs or something. So something mm -hmm. like that would it trigger then, then, in the next chain essentially? Um, obviously, the XYZ is in a different column, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it it's it got summoned there, but we are now in the next chain, uh, and nothing is there anymore. So does anything happen? Is this just a trick question? What oh, happens? I think, I think it's just okay. Wait, <laughs> give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. What happens? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. this is not according to my plan. Ooh. I, was, I, I wasn't very sure, but I thought he would say no, so I had to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a reasoning why you said yes? Or is that your reasoning? <laughs> like, I could see both being, like, mm -hmm. correct. I, I have no idea. Okay. I think it just, met its, it just met its trigger activation, trigger condition. Like, it doesn't matter if the monster gets moved, I think. And I think that only matters for, like, stuff like... Like Ben 10 tributes something, and then that's Ben 10's effect, and it gets moved by DD Crow or something, so you don't get mm -hmm. Ben 10. But I think in this scenario, like the monster was still summoned, like it, it still met its trigger condition, so it's just still activate, I think. Yeah, essentially. I feel like I remember something similar happening, but yeah. like not getting the effect. But like I can't think of it right now, like the, the actual example. Mm -hmm. So no, I, I know what you mean, sure. because usually it works that way, because it changed like the location. And I know for the longest time we had different European rulings as NA, but for this particular example, it actually does trigger because Wicked yep. like saw the monster be summoned, essentially. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not, <clears throat> it's not the same thing as like Ben 10, like Alpha Tribute Ben 10, you chain Crow on Ben 10, because yeah. Ben 10 is 
the not in the same location. Yeah, yeah. Monster, mm -hmm. Monster's not in the same location, but it's different than Wicked because Wicked is the mm -hmm. one that will be declaring the effect, and mm -hmm. nothing happened to Wicked. It's just the monster. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Wicked should be able to use it. That Wait, was Andrew, a good have another example of this. Uh, I'm just curious. It's like, um, let me think. So if you would go like, I, rem I remember there is stuff with like on summon um, triggers. Mm -hmm. If you would no, like, like maybe like maybe revolt, right? Revolt, yeah, revolt no? is a good like a good example, mm. I guess. But also like if if for example, um a, a monster from like if one tri brigade had an on summon effect, right? And you would go revolt, summon all of them back, and then link summon, could the one that has an on summon effect activate in the next chain? That's like no, a but that's different though, because it's cause it's not the same card, right? Because this is like a different card that's being uh, moved. I mean, so but I, I just guess can't think of an example for this. It's it's kind of an it's kind of a, a, a similar still I think because it's also not I guess the same card because it's a material right. It's not even a card. It's like it's like you summon a oh, card yeah. and you get yeah. To <laughs> <laughs> so as, essentially, what Pak said was um I guess the closest to an, a good explanation I think because like it's not yeah. Wicked that is like getting moved anywhere Wicked just stays there and it just sees it basically yeah that's what's up so it has to do with either mm -hmm. the card itself having to be in a specific location or another card just seeing it be there like appear and then then disappear yeah. <laughs> essentially it's so weird um, I know but I am giving two, two points to Pac for this explanation <laughs> no so for the last um question today I decided to take a, a band card and we're gonna be talking uh -huh. about the good old times of choking mm. of all calamities of course and yeah. I have ABC answers so which effects of choking of all calamities affect monsters a the effect to change attributes b the effect to prevent attacks from monsters of that attribute C, the effect to prevent the effect activations of monsters with that attribute. You can choose multiple if you want. You can choose neither, but uh, we are not limiting ourselves to only one answer. Wait, so what's the question? Which one does Essentially, what? which effects does True King of All Calamities affect once it applies that, you know, you can no longer do stuff? Which of these effects... Which does... affects monsters? Yeah, what affects monsters? Okay. Might be all of them. It's probably not neither. So <laughs> what's 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 all through? What's what's A B C? Um, the first one is the effect to change attributes. The second one is the effect to prevent attacks from that monster, and the third one is to prevent effect activations from that monster. And which of these affect monsters when calamity yes. activates them? Basically, A is a hard one. I haven't played in this format either, so. Right, of course. Oh my god, dude, you dodged so many shitty formats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about the last five months. Yeah, no, we don't. That's not a thing. That, this format right now is really <laughs> awful. Um... Wait, Pak said only the, the A was heard. I think A is the hardest one because the question. Maybe with he's a just is like... saying that to confuse you. Don't listen to him. Well, because a, a, like, if you read it, Chu King says becomes that attribute mm -hmm. so like you have to think about lingering conditions on monsters uh like yeah if, does it affect I, them essentially yeah if i mm -hmm. activate i don't know like something that makes it change attributes can i does it work on the true kings because i think i think mm -hmm. like b and c is obvious like monsters with that attribute cannot declare the attacks or activate effects but a is kind of hard that's the one that i need to figure out let's see what's it with B's effects, C's uh, C battle. is effects, B is attacks, and the first one is attributes. Yeah, B says you cannot activate the effect, right? Mm hmm. Okay. No, sorry, B, no, no, is, B is battle. B is B battle, is battle. <laughs> C is effects, oh. and the first one is attributes. Now I'm getting okay. confused. <laughs> A for attributes, B for battle. Oh my god, yes! I totally had that in mind. That was all planned. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to read it like 10 times and then... Yeah, no, you're good. I'm not timing this last question because it's the last one and I need to um, count you guys' points. <laughs> mm. 
Ouais, je suis en monsieur. So the question is whether or not it affects monsters. Yeah, what, with with these three things, what it prevents, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait. Like if it affects monsters with those. Okay. Uh, A B C answers, pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I don't know if this is a trick question or not. Kind of hard. Hmm. Because you're. Mm, I don't know. Because th there's ways to like. I'll play calamities, but it's it's so suspect. Yeah, I have. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I I've done it. I was playing Shadows during this format. I had to Shadow Fusion under calamities, and I was Ooh. using like they were called Dark, and I would do like Trigger, Ariel, and Wendy. Nice. So. So theoretically, wait. So the question is, does calamities prevent monsters from doing these things, right? Essentially, if it if it affects those those monsters at all, yeah, when preventing them. Now I'm confused again. I thought I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so calamities cause fire. Yeah. And. Now, now we need to establish if by calling fire it actually affects monsters to make them fire, if it affects the monsters that are fire to prevent them from attacking, and if it affects monsters that are fire to prevent the effect activations. Of, oh, okay. Yeah. So okay, I, I will have, up I the stakes. Since we realize that it's neither, I am giving you both three points per every correct answer from A, B, and C. Okay. Wait, I have to think about it again now. Mm -hmm. This is literally me giving Luca the last uh, like option to get in the lead. So you cannot fumble nah. this. <laughs> but I'm giving you three points per every correct uh, answer. Might be all of them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Are they ready? Yeah, okay. Same. okay, great. So, what does it affect? So, that's the question. A, B, C. It affects the monster. Sure it. Attack? Yeah. You said. I have C and A. You have, have B and C. C and A, and you have B and C. So, yeah. both of you are getting three points only because it does not affect monsters from activating effects. Oh, it affects the player? Yes. Yeah, obviously. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought... Okay, I see. I thought it was like... Oh, I... Okay, I'm so stupid. I got I that thought the player yeah. battles, and I wasn't sure about effects. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand <laughs> that, yeah. But apparently... Yeah. The so. yeah. Wait. But, but Pac got three points as well. I mean, both of you had one correct. So if you both had two oh, so, correct... So battle doesn't affect the player, it affects the, the uh, Yeah, basically, um, the effect to change attributes, it affects monsters when it's attempting to give them an attribute. It also affects mm -hmm. monsters when it's preventing them from attacking, but it does not affect monsters when it's preventing the effect activations. Oh, I see. Oh, this is, oh my, this, this is actually easy. I'm actually stupid, because I understood the question wrong. I thought it couldn't be A, because... Like, if if someone activates like DNA transplant or something and make it, you know, what I'm saying that would override calamity. So I, in my head, I'm like, it affects the monster, but the monster. Uh, I'm so dumb. I'm just, I don't know where my head was going. I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like essentially, I was thinking more. I thought the question was more along the lines of like, if, um, like it, if it affects the monster and like permanently makes it so you can't ever change. If that makes sense. Oh, okay. I had no yeah, idea. The actual monsters are battling though. Yeah, yeah, they That's are. That's so weird. I thought it's like everything like battle related always affected the player. It's very like, not, weird. Not every, every, every time, but like mm -hmm. in this case. It's weird. It's weird. I literally read it this like, I don't know, 15 minutes before we started recording. <laughs> and I was like, I'm putting this in the test. <laughs> All right. Oh, so no. the final scores are in and we have Pac at 17 points and Luca at 13 points. No. So oh. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> to Pac on winning round Congrats. one. And uh, congrats to Luca on a very decent showing as well. I mean, 13 points is not bad at all. Yeah. So, yeah. How do you feel about your score and your, I guess, knowledge? 
I mean, you knew a lot of them, actually, so. Yeah, a lot of these are really weird. I think, like, I don't know. I feel like you, if you play more, you definitely these come up a lot more often, but mm. not, not, not that much, yeah. No, I don't think any of these come up, but I, I did learn a lot, yeah. actually. <laughs> like, some yeah. of these are very interesting, actually. I'm so happy yeah. to hear that, really. And I enjoyed having you guys on. I think we had fun. Book, well, Book I had Moon a lot of fun. It's the one that has the most ruling stuff. Like, the Book of Moon is crazy. There's yeah. so much Book Man, of Moon ruling. I have so yeah. many Book of Moon ones. I had to cut them because it was like I cannot give them, like, 10 Book of Moon <laughs> yeah. rulings. That's stupid. That, that's, like, that, that's one of those that are, like, relevant in the format. The Forbidden Droplet one was relevant. Um, oh, yeah. I, 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 I did that play before to stop it yeah. from making Zeus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's I love that ruling. ruling. That's probably my favorite there, one. There, there's another cool ruling with like droplets and, and Dante too. Whether whether or not it uh switches if you droplet at the damage step, like whether or not it goes to defense and stuff like that too. What does so, Dante like, says, say? Battle or attacked? It says uh after, let me pull it up. Let me see. Dante Dante says if this card attacks, it's changed by position at the end of the damage step. Okay. Um, so it so has to have declared an attack, you, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's like different uh, from battling, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's really cool. I will so. just pull my. I didn't play in that format card because I did not play in. The <laughs> <format>. <laughs> well, excuse yeah. you, the Croatian national champion that didn't play in that <laughs> format. <laughs> no, but yeah, I'm just messing with you. you. You had a really decent showing, both of you. You know, 17th and 13th. That's really nice. I mean, we had to like go rogue and add points. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 13 for sure. <laughs> so I really enjoyed having both of you on. I'm so thankful that you managed to take the time and make it. And I think it went really well. So hopefully you enjoyed as well. So thank you for being yeah, on. Thanks for having us. Of thanks. course. Bye. And if you guys enjoyed it, of course, make sure to to like it, to sub and let us know if you knew any of the rulings. And if you knew I'm better than these guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.